Good afternoon, and welcome to episode number 585. And topic today is, do you clearly see your year ahead? I'll jump into that in a second. And before I do, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and what I'm about. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, and help strong, successful, and high-achieving women create balance in love, life, and business. And I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which led me to do these talks every day called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. And most of the time, <laughs> they're about love and relationships, which I do a lot of these talks about. And I started these about two and a half years ago, something like that. I actually posted earlier today on my Facebook wall. And by the way, this is Facebook Live. If you're watching on YouTube, I'll explain that in a minute, how hey, you get that. But I posted earlier today my very, 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 very first Facebook Live I ever did that happened to be three years ago today. So that was very interesting to watch myself that far back going how bad it was and how it's going to stick to Periscope and everything. Anyway, that's a whole different topic. Watch that broadcast if you're interested. It was very fun to do um, a review of and see that broadcast from three years ago. So as I said, I've done these every day since. So now I'm at number, episode number 585. PJ, good to see you. Um, and to today's topic actually is a follow-on from yesterday's in a way, kind of, sort of. But the topic today is, do you clearly see your year ahead? And yes, this is going to be a plug for my new, my revised and renewed Rock Your 2019 workbook that I'll be talking about. I'll put the link in the comments later on. But I want to give you some suggestions, some clues, and some steps. Yes, some steps you can take to set up your new year, this wonderful new year of 2019, up for success. And one of the biggest pieces people forget to do is to get a picture, an image, a vision, an intention, a even a feeling of what that year ahead is going to be like. And in this um, world we live in, it's very easy to get distracted by the media and by social media especially, and by all the things that are going on in our lives with our phones and computers and TV and social online um, marketing, perhaps. And yet the funny thing is we don't actually market to ourselves. This is going to sound very strange to say it this way, but we're sold so much stuff by outside media and influences by different, um, when we say this, advertisers to get your business. And yet we don't actually focus any energy on marketing to ourselves, to advertise to ourselves what we want. We actually buy into other people's marketing advertising of what they want to sell us. Something's wrong there. So what I want to give you is some thoughts about how you can actually do a little self-marketing. Not marketing out there, but marketing to yourself in here. And by so doing, actually um, enroll yourself in the vision you want to create. Now, here's the thing. When you create a vision you want, it makes a lot of sense if you get enrolled in it, so you actually move towards it. Because you set up a vision out there somewhere in the future of what you want to create, and you don't do anything about it. It isn't going to tend to going to be, one, it's not going to happen. And secondly, not going to be very excited about it. So this is about how do you do that? and then enroll yourself as a customer, so to speak, of your own marketing. So here's the thing, and I'm gonna use this term vision, even though I'm really talking about, well, depending on your preferences, because some people are more visual, some people are more kinesthetic, some people are even more auditory, and that's those NLP terms, basically meaning, how do you remember things? How do you speak about things? How do you um, listen to things? Because for some people, they're very visual, so you may see in pictures and images and and um, describe things from very visual terminology. You know, it looked like this, I saw that, I see what you mean, those sort of terms. If you're kinesthetic, I'm giving you a very, I didn't realize I'm giving a quick overview of NLP terms right here, but so be it. Kinesthetic people are people who talk in feeling terms and see, they don't just see things as much as they feel them. They feel the temperature of the sun rather than seeing the sun outside. And not saying they don't see it, but they resonate more with the feeling level than they are the seeing level. So they'll talk about things like, I, I am, that touches me, or I, I feel you, as in understanding you, as to see what you mean. Again, subtle differences. So I wanna make sure that when I describe this, and I'll give a couple more examples, this is really an, in, an idea of how you create your vision that isn't just a picture, but an, in, in a, um, an embodiment and an in, in, what's the word, involving, I guess? Something that will involve you, <laughs> that simply. So let me just jump into um, auditory. 
So auditory people will remember sounds more vision more, more accurately. They actually, they actually remember conversations more accurately too. Auditory people are very good to have around when you want to find out what somebody said accurately because they remember word for word, generally speaking. They also use more hearing terms. So uh, that rings a bell or I heard what you, I hear what you mean or um, those words mean something to me or it sounds good. And most of us have all three to some degree. So we use all those terms interactively. So what does this got to do with your vision? So your vision of what you want to create for the year can be something that can be, again, visual or feeling or auditory or all three. And in fact, if you can enroll and include all three aspects, it makes your ability to create a vision for the new year much more um, magnetic and also much more involving and bring, bring you in, which is wonderful because frankly, <sighs> I'm going to say this from a place of being disappointed. There are many people out there whose, as I talked about yesterday, resolutions, uh, resolutions, I hate those things. <laughs> resolutions are basically a couple of words they write down on a piece of paper, they put it away and hope it's going to come true. And it's, 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 it's a low investment for a, for a very minimal return, to be honest. So this idea in presenting is actually is, is, is the part one or part two, I forget which part it is, of my Rocket 2019 playbook. So I'm giving you some of the some of the tools to help you get started. And the intention is that if you actually create a vision, an intention, a a future experience, I'm again playing with words on this one, that can draw you in. It can become something that will attract you to where you want to go. And the more um, multi-mode you can make it. And again, I'm playing with words here, let's see if this makes a better way of saying it. The more you can make this real, let's put it that way, the more it can become more visceral visceral and vis and uh, stimulating for you so you can actually draw it in. Because when you're creating a vision for your life, it's nice to actually have an investment in it so you want to have it happen. So this marketing to yourself idea I'm talking about is to create a vision and a um, experience that actually is juicy enough to get you excited. Oh, there's an idea. Let's get you excited about your life for the future. So, first of all, I talked before. I, I talked um, January first and second about about intentions and affirmations, but also ideal scenes, which I talked about before, and I, those are in my Rocky Twenty Nineteen program. Um, work, but rather, and also um, vision boards. So all of these pieces are part of this idea because when you're creating a, it's not word, I don't want to keep saying the word vision, but I want to use a better word than vision because vision is visual. When you create your plan, your experience for the ex the expression of your life for the next twelve months, it's good to make it multimodal and more um, embracing, so you can actually immerse yourself in it. So a visual picture is great, but that's only two-dimensional. And by creating it in a level that's feeling as well, it makes it three-dimensional. It makes it more multi-dimensional or multimodal. In these terms, I hope it makes sense. So, how do you want to make your life more exciting this year? Say, for example, you are looking to go on vacation this summer. You've got no idea how it's going to happen. But if you really are clear you want to go on, on vacation, for example, I know that some people I, I, some people I know are going to go on a trip to Egypt and Africa in July, I think it is. Now, if I was looking at that as my intention to go there, even though I have no idea where the money's coming from at this moment, I know you know if my schedule will fit that one. But if I want to take it on as an experience that hasn't happened yet, this is six, seven months away, I would suggest... First of all, getting pictures together that are of um, the, the locations they're going to. So, say, say, uh, west, maybe it's west, maybe it's, uh, no, it would be east actually, east side of Africa and Egypt. I'll go on the web and find pictures, or I get some travel magazines, cut them out, make some pictures, and build a vision board from that. And also, I would start really getting clear how it would feel to be there. So, I'd close my eyes and, and visualize maybe what it would what it be like to be in the sunshine, walking through the brush or being by the Nile River, or being in Cairo and walking around the city. 
and just maybe go and find some videos on YouTube or other things that would be inspiring of that experience. These are all pieces of the puzzle. I'm just want to make sure you get some sense of how creative you can get with this. Um, by the way, if you find YouTube videos on locations you want to go to, the great thing is you not only get visuals, you also get sounds as well. So it's going to hit you on different levels and you can feel what it feels like to be there. Very powerful tool. So vision boards are great, but also creating things that will stir your senses will be great too. I would also think about maybe going to, and it's going to sound crazy, but maybe going to um, some African restaurants or Egyptian restaurants, eat food from those places because that will hit all the senses which are great ways, again, of programming and creating a really invested vision for your new year. So again, this is if you're looking to create an experience, if you're planning to say, if you want to go on a trip in the summer to go to Africa and Egypt, as I was suggesting. So if you didn't have a way of getting there necessarily, by having these experiences and immersing yourself in the feelings and the sights of what you're looking to have, you create a more powerful pull for those things to happen. This is not resolutions anymore. This is way beyond that. So when you're creating your vision for any area of your life, again, I was talking about travel, but what if it was for relationships or for health? If you're not there yet, how could you see it if you're not there? You may be thinking to yourself. If you're single and looking for a relationship, one of the things you can do, and I wouldn't necessarily go back in time, but I would say, okay, if you're in the ideal relationship that you've been wanting to have forever, suggestion, is to actually immerse yourself in that place where you feel that experience. Actually, imagine yourself, and you might want to sit down, and close your eyes, like in the middle of the day when you've got some time, not to go to sleep, but to contemplate and be present inside yourself. How would it feel to be loving that person, to feel connected to somebody special in your life? How would it feel to hear them knocking on the door as they're coming in, or to notice them downstairs in the house, for example, or somebody? Or how would you feel? It, how would it feel to you to know that they're coming home from a trip? These sort of ideas you can play with. I mean, I'm just throwing ideas at you. They're not the script you should have, but having nuances, feelings, experiences, glimpses, all of these pieces together create a visceral and magnetic pull to attract to what you what you want. So whatever area you're working on as a vision for this year, be it purpose, career, relationship, travel, anything of these, by putting pieces of the puzzle into flow, by creating an experience level for what you want to create down the road, it actually builds momentum towards where you want to go. Okay, I can do that. One of my intentions this year, <laughs> I was going to avoid that, but apparently it's coming up to talk about, is to be speaking on stage in front of bigger audiences. So I've been sitting with that experience a lot the last couple of days and remembering actually when I did do that a, couple, a few years ago, actually quite a few years ago now, but how it feels to be on a stage in front of a bigger audience and to be received. Now, here's the thing, because this is my fantasy, and again, if you're doing this for yourself, you want to set yourself up for success. So I've been, I've been on stage before, and the experience has always been, generally been good. Sometimes they weren't always good. So those ones I'm going to exclude from my vision, because I want to set up an intention for success. So my embodiment experience, my feeling of taking this on, is to visualize and feel into how would it feel to be received by an audience that wants to hear what I'm talking about and that takes value from what I'm sharing and actually comes up to me afterwards and thanks me for what I did. That's what I would use as fuel for this vision I'm creating for my ability, for my work this year, standing on stage in front of an audiences. So again, whatever you're working on, you can play with different um, tokens, different experiences, different nuances that actually give you a sense of where you want to go and where you want to be and how you can have that happen. This is the thing. None of this is about a how do you get there? Because that's not part of the conversation. Your ability to create the vision for your new year is a what feeling, as in, if you had it, what would it feel like? What would it look like? What would you feel like? That's the what. So it's not a how, it's a what. <laughs> that would make sense. My Rocky 2019 workbook, playbook, whatever, I keep, I keep relabeling it, but this seven, seven module playbook is, a th is something I created actually originally last year for 2018. I redid it for this year and I've made it better because, of course. But it has in it some of these things I've talked about and a lot more. I think I've covered like two in the last few broadcasts, but there's seven pieces in this, in this workbook. 
And frankly, if you're looking to create a different year from last year, if you're looking to have a more powerful experience of life, of love, of joy, of success in different areas of your life this coming year, I am biased. However, I highly recommend you check it out. Because by taking the seven different keys that I provide in the workbook, you can set up your life for success in any area and every area of your life for 2019. That's why it's called Rock Your 2019. <laughs> I think it's kind of obvious. But the thing, and the thing is, you don't have to use it if you don't want to. But at least if, I, if, if you find what I said had value, take to heart what I suggested in this broadcast. And if you want to go back and watch my other ones from yesterday and from uh, Monday, and, sorry, from News Day and, and Day After News Day, which was, I don't remember the numbers are, but I talked about New Year's resolutions. Um, watch those again because there's great keys and steps in those that'll help you as well. But if you really want to do it right, I do recommend my Rocket 2019 workbook playbook. I'll put the link in the comments so you can find it. And verbally, actually, I did actually make it public on my website now. So if you go to my website, which is barryselby.com, in the menu navigation bar, there's Love Yourself First, which is the self-love practice. And right next to it is the Rocket 2019 playbook. I recommend it, of course. I'm biased about it, of course. I know it works. Yes, of course. So with that, I thank you for watching. This has been a real, I know, marketing in a way, but I mentioned at the beginning about how can you market it to yourself? Because again, there's so much distraction out in the world with social media and other things that are trying to sell themselves to you. How would it be more effective if you could sell to yourself? How can you market to yourself what you want? So you basically make things visible to yourself that are actually enticing and exciting for what you want. If you just do that idea alone, it will change your life. And again, I recommend my workbook because then that will change your life a big time too. Not only is it one thing, it's seven things. So having said all that, again, this is Facebook Live first, and I did say earlier that I put it onto YouTube as well. So if you're watching on YouTube, I'll put the link in the comments in YouTube as well as on Facebook, so you can find it in both places. For replays, this is my daily broadcast, by the way. Um, this is my daily Facebook Live. Usually 5 p.m. Pacific time is my time of um, aliveness. <laughs> Um, and this talk is part of my ongoing series of inspirational desires to help you have a better life in love, life, relationship, and everything else. So if you um, haven't checked out my other broadcasts, you find my replays on Facebook, they're on my business page, and on YouTube, they're on my YouTube channel, so I'll give you the links. So personal page, I want to do my Facebook Live first, which is here, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. This will then go to my business page with all my other replays, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby dot author. If you're a YouTube viewer and you're not watching this on, and you're actually watching it there because you might have seen it on YouTube, um, it's in my playlist called Messages for the Masculine on my channel, which is my name, Barry Selby. Please subscribe to my channel. And thirdly, I've, I've been building up a podcast which currently has a few of these on it. And if you go to Messages for the Masculine on iTunes, you can subscribe to that channel and get the audio versions as well. I hope this has been of help to you and it's given you some th food for thought of how you can make your 2019 an amazing year because frankly, you deserve it, but you've got to take the steps to make it so it doesn't happen on its own. With that, I thank you for watching. Um, your homework, if you choose to take it on, is consider what I said and play out some ideas for yourself, what you'd like to create, what you'd like to manifest, and what you'd like to have this year, because it's your year. You get to do what you want with it. With that, I thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. I will see you again tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific time, and I wish you a pleasant evening. Bye.